The constellation Orion is instantly recognizable by its three-starred belt. These three stars, Alnitak, Alnilam, and Mintaka, form a straight line that has guided stargazers for millennia. Orion, named after the mythical Greek hunter, is one of the most conspicuous and well-known constellations in the night sky. But Orion holds a celestial wonder far more captivating, Betelgeuse. This star, often overshadowed by the belt, is a marvel in its own right. This red supergiant star marks Orion's shoulder, a beacon in our night sky. Betelgeuse, with its distinct reddish hue, stands out among the other stars, drawing the eyes of both amateur stargazers and professional astronomers alike. Betelgeuse is a star nearing the end of its life, a cosmic giant hundreds of times larger than our own sun. To put it in perspective, if Betelgeuse were placed at the center of our solar system, it would extend beyond the orbit of Jupiter engulfing the inner planets. Its reddish hue betrays its age, a sign of the impending cosmic spectacle that awaits. This color change is due to the star's outer layers cooling as it exhausts its nuclear fuel. For centuries, astronomers have observed Betelgeuse, charting its fluctuating brightness and studying its behavior. These fluctuations are not just random, they tell a story of the star's internal processes and its journey towards its final fate. This close observation made it clear, Betelgeuse was a star on borrowed time, destined for a spectacular demise. The changes in brightness are a prelude to the dramatic end that awaits this giant. The anticipation for its eventual supernova explosion grew within the scientific community. A supernova is one of the most energetic events in the universe and Betelgeuse's explosion would be visible even during the day from Earth. We knew it was coming, but when? The exact timing of Betelgeuse's supernova remains one of the great mysteries of modern astronomy. It could happen tomorrow or it might take another hundred thousand years. Until then, we continue to watch, wait, and wonder at the giant of Orion. Betelgeuse is a type of star known as a red supergiant. These stars are among the largest in the universe, both in terms of volume and luminosity. Betelgeuse in particular is a fascinating example of this stellar class. These stars are nearing the end of their lives. Unlike smaller stars, which can burn for tens of billions of years, red supergiants have much shorter lifespans, typically only lasting a few million years. They have exhausted the hydrogen fuel in their cores. This hydrogen fusion is the process that has powered them for most of their lives, creating the energy that makes them shine so brightly. This fuel is what keeps stars shining brightly for billions of years. Without it, the balance between the outward pressure from fusion and the inward pull of gravity is disrupted. As the fuel dwindles, the star's core contracts. This contraction increases the core's temperature and pressure, leading to the fusion of heavier elements like helium and carbon. This causes the outer layers to expand dramatically. The star's outer envelope swells, sometimes to hundreds of times its original size, creating the characteristic red hue of a red supergiant. This expansion is a clear sign of a star approaching its final act. The outer layers become unstable, pulsating and shedding material into space. Betelgeuse has swollen to an enormous size, its diameter is now more than 1,000 times that of our sun, making it one of the largest stars visible to the naked eye. If it were placed in our solar system, it would engulf the orbits of Mercury, Venus, Earth, and even Mars. This gives a sense of its immense scale and the dramatic changes it has undergone. This massive expansion is a prelude to a supernova, the explosive death throes of a star. When Betelgeuse finally goes supernova, it will be one of the most spectacular events in the night sky, visible even during the day. The explosion will outshine entire galaxies for a brief period, scattering elements that will eventually form new stars and planets. The James Webb Space Telescope, launched in 2021, represents a monumental leap in our quest to understand the cosmos. It is the most powerful space telescope ever built, designed to peer deeper into the universe than ever before. Unlike its predecessors, it observes the universe primarily in infrared light, which allows it to unveil the hidden secrets of the cosmos. This unique capability enables it to see through gas and dust clouds that obscure visible light revealing phenomena that were previously invisible to us. This makes it the perfect tool to study dramatic cosmic events like supernovae, where stars end their lives in spectacular explosions. When Betelgeuse, a red supergiant star in the constellation Orion, began showing signs of increased instability, it captured the attention of astronomers worldwide. All eyes or rather all telescopes turned towards it, with the James Webb Space Telescope leading the charge, ready to capture the impending celestial fireworks. And then it happened. 
Betelgeuse erupted in a brilliant supernova explosion, a cataclysmic event that was visible even in broad daylight from Earth, a rare and awe-inspiring sight. The data collected by the James Webb Space Telescope during this event has provided invaluable insights into the life cycles of stars and the dynamics of supernovae. By studying these explosive events, scientists can better understand how elements are formed and distributed throughout the universe, seeding the birth of new stars and planets. The James Webb Space Telescope continues its mission, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and bringing us closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe. With each observation, it opens a new window into the vast, intricate tapestry of the cosmos, reminding us of the endless wonders that lie beyond our world. Unlocking Supernova Secrets The James Webb Space Telescope, with its infrared vision, captured the Betelgeuse supernova in unprecedented detail. The telescope revealed the chaotic dance of superheated gas and dust. It showed the shock waves rippling through space. It even captured the formation of heavy elements in the supernova's wake. The telescope's data provides crucial insights into the processes that occur during a supernova. It allows scientists to study the creation of elements like gold, platinum, and uranium. These elements, forged in the heart of dying stars, are essential for life as we know it. A front row seat to cosmic fireworks. At a distance of 642 light years, Betelgeuse's supernova is the closest such event observed in centuries. While this distance poses no threat to Earth, it provides an unparalleled opportunity for scientific study. The supernova is so bright that it is visible during the day. This proximity allows us to study the supernova in detail never before possible. Astronomers are using a variety of telescopes to observe the event across the electromagnetic spectrum. This provides a comprehensive view of the supernova and its aftermath. From stardust to life. Supernovae are not just destructive events. They are also essential for the creation of life. The intense heat and pressure within a supernova forge heavy elements. These elements are scattered throughout the universe by the explosion. These elements eventually become part of new stars, planets, and even life itself. The calcium in our bones, the iron in our blood, the gold in our jewelry, all were created in the heart of a dying star. Betelgeuse's supernova reminds us of this profound connection we have to the cosmos. Echoes of a Cataclysmic Collapse The study of Betelgeuse's supernova extends beyond its visible light show. The event is a boon for scientists studying gravitational waves. These ripples in the fabric of space-time are created by the acceleration of massive objects. The core collapse of Betelgeuse is a powerful source of gravitational waves. Detecting and analyzing these waves provides valuable information about the processes at play during a supernova. It can also reveal insights into the nature of gravity itself.